I am Dr. Steve Sinatra, and welcome to HeartMDInstitute.com. Today's myth is this, folks. You don't have to eat a big, large, gigantic breakfast to get going in the morning. Look, if you want to do organic eggs, or if you want to do oatmeal, and don't microwave the oatmeal, but if you want to do it the real way, that's okay, but it takes time. And a lot of us don't have the time. We're beating the clock in the morning, and unfortunately, many of us don't even eat breakfast. It's a good idea to eat breakfast, but I'm going to show you a Sinatra solution to three simple breakfasts that don't take a lot of time and you get incredible medicinal effects. Let me give you an example. Every type of breakfast that I'm going to show you today has lots of fiber. Now why fiber? Hey, fiber does incredible things. First of all, it cleanses the GI tract. Second of all, when you have a lot of fiber in your foods, the insulin carbohydrate relationship is sort of skewed. In other words, you don't absorb the nutrients as quickly because the fiber delays the absorption, and when that happens, you get less of an insulin response. That's great for the vascular system, folks. So listen, when we look at a breakfast like this, we want 30 to 40 grams of fiber. That's ideal. You know, the average person only gets 11 to 15 a day. So this is a Sinatra Solution knockout punch, quick breakfast, and lots of fiber that's going to enhance your health. You're going to optimize your health. So I chose a breakfast like this. First of all, I have lots of berries here. This is blackberries, organic uh, blackberries, a terrific uh, source of phytonutrients. Here's raspberries, again organic, and uh, basically they have ellagic acid in them. Blueberries, another high fiber uh, uh, fruit. They're great because every color of each one of these different fruits has a certain function. We call them phytonutrients, and it's the, it's the colors of the fruits that give us the medicinal help. For example, blueberries contain a lot of lutein, and blueberries are great for the retina of the eye, and they sort of tighten up the synapses in the brain. So if you, if you forget your keys or glasses lots of times, try blueberries. Raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, they're great, but I want you to choose organic. Let me tell you why. The three worst fruits that are sprayed the most are strawberries. Number one, apples and peaches. So I want you to choose organic whenever possible. Now raspberries and blackberries are okay if they're not organic, but strawberries must be organic. Now, the other thing I wanna mention in the fiber scenario here is flax. Flax is a great source of fiber. It's wonderful, but a lot of people don't wanna you know, crush up flaxseed but I'm gonna show you a special breakfast where it's in a muffin, it's already prepared for you. Another great fiber is chia seed. Chia seed not only contains omega-3, but it's abundant source of fiber. It's been actually used in Mexico and Guatemala for years, and now it's sort of coming up to America, but it's a great source of fiber and omega-3. I like coconut milk because of its advantages. It has a lot of saturated fat, it doesn't oxidize in the body, and it's low in calories. I like almonds and I like walnuts. Why? Because walnuts have omega-3 and almonds have a very special form of vitamin E. It's called gamma tocopherol, which eradicates a very dangerous radical in the body. We don't get a lot of vitamin E in a diet, especially gamma tocopherol. I have kale here. Kale is phenomenal because it's the best green vegetable for nitric oxide, which is really good for vascular health. And then I have a little uh, cornflakes, these are organic cornflakes. I chose cornflakes because I tend to get away from wheat. I'm not a big fan of wheat. I'm not a big fan of dairy. And I also mentioned I'm not a big fan of microwave cooking. I like to do everything natural. So let me start with my first breakfast. This is so simple, folks. You can go to a health food store and you can get flax muffins. These flax muffins are incredible. They got about four grams of omega-3 in it. They have about five grams of protein and they have 10 grams of fiber. Think of it, just 10 grams of fiber in one muffin. So basically, how do you do it? Well, you can just break it up and have it with your tea or coffee. If you want to do a little more, a, a little more fancy at breakfast, you can cut it in half. And basically, if I cut this in half, like so, and open it up, whoop, I'm making a little bit of noise here. And we can put this in a toaster oven and toast it. And after it is toasted for about a minute, I like to add coconut oil. Why coconut oil over things like butter? Well, butter's okay, organic butter's okay, but I really like coconut oil. First of all, it's, it's a solid at room temperature, so you, you put a knife in it, you sprinkle it on the, the muffin, it melts right in, and the reason why I like coconut oil is because it's a saturated fat. It's, it's the least 
uh, prone to oxidation. We don't get what we call lipid peroxides in the body. It's a great fat, and it goes wonderful with flaxseed. When you try this, folks, you think you died and went to heaven. So that's my first quick and easy breakfast. It's great for optimizing your, your health. And from my heart to yours, I'm Dr. Steve Sinatra.